Okay, so I'm now going to show you how you install a target onto the Ucreate Studio controller. You always need to do this with a new controller because the controller won't have the actual Ucreate Studio runtime installed and the controller doesn't have an IP address to download a project to. So the first stage is to put a micro SD card into your PC ready to be written to and then we need to find whatever software units we need to install into the controller to give you additional features I'll show you that now so if I go into Google just type in the partner of the controller uh, there we are we're on the catalog.videmuller site scroll down the page to downloads strongly recommend you keep this as a favorite link because you'll find lots of user guides application notes certification etc for the product so i could just install a bare target which will give me an ip address and the uh, you create studio plc programming software but i also want to install an add-on software unit called procon web embedded system which is this one here you'll see there are a couple of different versions this is the latest so if you're not familiar Procon Web is Weidmuller's HMI programming software with the Ucreate Studio controller the actual HMI project is embedded within the controller it resides in the controller so the runtime for the Procon Web project has to be installed I want the latest version so I click here to download it and once it's downloaded I can show it in a folder unzip it double click on it extract to my downloads folder and there it is so you'll notice what's actually been unzipped is a folder and within that folder is a subfolder and a file we need to put that complete folder into the target so to put it into the target we go to here and we go to this little green and white icon with the arrows software service tray so if I right click open software service path I can open this subfolder system software and you'll notice i've got two versions of you create studio an old one and the current one so all i need to do is drag that file into there continue just calculating the space okay so if i now open that file folder you'll see various installs that have previously been put there so for example i've got uh, Procon Web Runtime Embedded System, some older versions, and that's the new version I've just put on now. I've also got Node Red, uh, Modbus TCP Server, and um, OPC UA. So these, if I want to make use of OPC UA, Node Red, Modbus Server, or Procon Web, I need to put the appropriate software units in here. Okay, so that has prepared the information ready for me to select so I can shut that window down shut that down I can now open up you create studio which is here give that a minute to open okay so before I can create a target I have to create a project so if I go file new project I'll start with a default project and I'll just give it um, give it a name my first project I'm not actually going to create any actual program elements I'm not creating any programmable units POUs it's just the bare minimum I need to put onto the target so all I do is go to project create target 
Um, I, it picks the name of the controller. I can change, well, it picks, it defaults to the name of the controller, but I can change that name to whatever I want for the target. I can put a description in. I need to define where the micro SD card is. So if I click on my PC, it's actually my D drive. Select that folder. And you get a warning. This, the medium needs preparing. So click on there to prepare it. And you get a warning saying you must have admin rights to do this. And then let it go away and prepare, format the card ready for use. So now I can define the IP address, subnet and gateway. So I can either use the default or change them to whatever I want, or if I prefer, I can make use of DHCP. I'm going to use the default settings. Now here is where I can install these optional software units. So I click in here, and if I extend that, you'll see here various add-on features I can use. So for example, I want to use OPC, if I want to use OPC UA to communicate between the PLC and another device, I click here. I'll also have Modbus TCP server, Node Red, and the latest version of UCreate runtime embedded system I just installed onto my PC. Click on that. OK. And create target. So this is now going to go away and build the target, which take a few minutes and install it on the micro SD card ready for transfer. Okay, so create target is finished successfully. So we're now ready to remove the micro SD card. Be a little bit careful removing the micro SD, disable it before you remove it. So go down here, right click onto here, and eject the drive in question. Okay, now save to remove hardware. You really should do that because if you remove the SD card without doing that, there's a risk you could damage or lose the data on the card. So next stage is to physically mount that into the controller.